on the Westwood One Radio Network. One day after his first training camp practice since his return to Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers signed a reworked deal with the team. NFL Network's Tom Pelissero reports Rodgers' new contract is one year shorter, now running through 2022, but does not include any new money. Rodgers said he wanted more say in the team's personnel decisions, and it appears he got them. Green Bay sent a sixth-round pick to Houston for receiver and former Packer Randall Cobb. GM Brian Gutekunst says that they made the trade after Rodgers suggested it. Elsewhere, after missing the first few days of camp, the Jets signed second overall pick and projected starting quarterback Zach Wilson. Chiefs all-pro tight end Travis Kelsey left practice early Thursday with back and hip soreness, but the injuries are not considered serious. And Dak Prescott did not throw Thursday after straining his right shoulder, but the Cowboys expect their quarterback to be back to full strength by the weekend. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. The real estate market is always tough, but this market, it's unlike anything we've ever seen. The average home stays on the market just 24 days and houses routinely go for more than the listing price. Who you work with matters. Realtors have the expertise, local knowledge, and personal touch to give you a competitive advantage throughout the entire home buying process. And that's something an ordinary agent could never do. So make sure your agent is a Realtor. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. Great values are happening now during Lowe's Summer Savings. Save on select appliance special values. Plus, save an additional $50 when you buy two or more appliances, each price $396 or more. You'll also find new lower prices on ceiling fans, landscape lighting, and more. So shop Lowe's today. Must ask cashier to apply discount in store. Online must use promo code. Can't be combined with any other discounts. See Lowe's.com for exclusions and terms. Valid 715 through 84. U.S. only. We are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230, KXOL Centro, California. It is a uh, Friday, 30th day of July, 2021. Gene, that would be the penultimate day of July. A what? Penultimate. Penultimate. Yeah, yeah the second to last. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. that's true. Yes. yes. I, it's one of those words. I just like that word. It sounds kind of neat. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Okay. You know? Well. I mean, it's, you, there's a plethora of words. Yes, there are. <laughs> and uh, many of them I've never heard. And uh, one of the reasons I got into radio anyway was because I don't have to spell them. Mm -mm. No, we use radiophonics. Yes. <sighs> Let's see. And it For, works. Yeah. Yeah, um, it is, uh, we mentioned a Friday, which means the weekend is just ahead. That usually is the way that it, it happens week after week. Yes, and it's going to be a wild weather weekend. I think most of it will just kind of circle around us as it has uh, the past couple of weeks, but be prepared. Just in case. You got it. I know just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, he's, uh, he's a pretty cool guy. Yes. Uh, uh, just in case. On the state in 1956, the phrase, in God we trust, was adopted as the U.S. national motto. I didn't know it was that recent. I didn't either. Okay. We're learning things today. Folks. I guess. We are learning. And on this date in 1965, U.S. President Lyndon Johnson signed into law Social Security Act that established Medicare and Medicaid. It went into effect the following year. And as they say, the rest is history. I suppose. And on this date in 2003, in Mexico, the last old-style Volkswagen Beetle rolled off an assembly line. Yeah, and then we didn't see them for a while. I guess they continued to make them in Europe. No, they were making them in Brazil. Okay, A Brazil. little bit longer. We're talking the old style. Yeah but, yeah, but they were not making them here. They just completely disappeared for a while in yes. the States. Yes. And we that, would get to see them because they would cross over from uh, Mexicali. Mexicali, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you couldn't buy one. No. Are you ready for birthdays? Birthdays, we have some. Okay, Paul Anka is 80. That jazz saxophonist David Sanborn, 76. Actor, politician, now an actor again, 
Arnold Schwarzenegger is 74. Actor William Atherton of the Die Hard film, 74. Actor Jean Reno is 73. Actor Ken Olin, 67. Actor Delta Burke, 65. Actor Richard uh, Berge, 63. Actor Lawrence Fishburne, 60. Actor Lisa Kudrow, 58. Actor Vivica A. Fox, 57. Actor Terry Crews, 53. Actor Simon Baker, 52. Actor Tom Green, 50. Actor Christine Taylor is 50. Comedian Dean Edwards, 48. Hilary Swank, 47. Actor Jamie Presley is 44. Actor April Balby is uh, 41. Actor Ivan Stravosky is 39. Actor Martin Starr is 39. And actor Gina Rodriguez is 37. Local Didn't birthdays. look a day over three. I went not Yeah, exactly. Uh, are you ready for local ones? Local. The Got best it. kind. We're celebrating today's birthdays. Happy birthday, Andrea Acuna, Giancarlos Roman. Mary Moreno, Wally Ruiz, Sage Mayfield, Jose Esquivel, Mary Martinez, Patty Rivera, Vicky Rush, Randy Caldwell Jr., Matthew Gazda, Eva Viegas, Jessica Farrell, Antonia Nesperos, Jenny Jordan, Robert Tapia, Ted Jensen, Nasha Faith Vasquez, Leila Garcia, and Giancarlos Roman. Happy birthday from KXO. By the way, have you uh, noticed the uh, Mayan Hotel is coming down? Faster, I'll have to admit, faster than I thought it would. Well, I think tearing apart the building, you know, is going pretty quickly. But loading the uh, rubble and debris is what's taking time. Yeah, well, they, they're they working on it. Of course, yes. uh, you know, the terminology foundation, I'm interested to see what that will look like yeah i i'm surprised there wasn't a basement in that building i i'm surprised too yeah, there may well be that we just didn't know about yeah could be yeah okay. but uh, can you imagine what it would take to remove the uh, slab with what <laughs> they've gone through for the building well let's let's put it this way um my unit in the army was ordnance we had access to uh, things like C4 and other things. Yeah, we could do that. Where there's a will, <laughs> yeah. there's a way. <sighs> that, uh, you know, it, and it might be fun trying that way, don't you think? Well, I don't know. I'd feel for our neighbors that are close by there. That <laughs> might uh, shake the teeth yeah. out of their head. Issue everybody umbrellas for the, uh, you know, the fallout. Yeah, so they can fly away. Yeah, but it, it uh, anyway, you, you hate to see something go away, and especially, you know, that building had some history, mm -hmm. but uh, it had to go. Yep. Well, or somebody decided it had to go. Yeah, and, and uh, as somebody commented, so where are all the copper thieves going to hang out? Yeah. No kidding. Okay. Uh, we've got news and such, if you are ready. I'm ready. Okay, we're going to jump in with a look at World in California news headlines right now. Brought to you by your friends in the air conditioning business. It's nice to have a friend. Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. CBS News Brief. Our CBS affiliate WSB Radio confirms details with the CDC on new findings that show just how dangerous COVID's Delta variant is. Reporter Sabrina Cupid. A new document from the CDC here in Atlanta shows those who get infected with the Delta variant are more likely to have a severe case. It also says fully vaccinated people can spread the virus faster than previously thought. In fact, it can spread as easily as chickenpox or the common cold. While people who are vaccinated can in some cases still get infected, the vaccine does help prevent hospitalization and death. Israel began administering Pfizer booster shots today. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett. The decision was based on considerable research as well as the rise in risk of the Delta variant wave. Wait times for passports and renewals up to 18 weeks. In LA, Mary Jane Dows is still waiting. It was supposed to be 12 weeks and now it became 18 weeks, but we still haven't gotten a passport. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. 
Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California Headline News, concern over the Delta COVID variant and how it's resulting in a sharp increase in COVID cases. L.A. County seeing a 740% increase in new cases over the past month. Infected people may now spread up to a thousand times more virus particles with every cough, sneeze, or shout than they did a year ago. County Public Health Director Dr. Barbara Ferrer, while it's uncommon for the fully vaccinated to test positive for COVID, cases of the fully vaccinated testing positive are on the rise as well. UC Berkeley swimmer Ryan Murphy takes the silver medal in the 200 meter backstroke at the Olympics with Russian Evgeny Rylov taking the gold. Murphy raising eyebrows when asked if he believes Russian Olympic Committee should be competing given the state sponsored program. I don't have time to, to, to get involved in this situation but there is a situation and, and that's like that, that's a problem. Murphy saying he couldn't say with certainty that this race was clean of doping. Triple digits again in the Southern California deserts. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by your friends in the air conditioning business, Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Sadness and misery, I don't feel either of these, and I'm in a good mood. Okay. Hey man, what's wrong? Ooh, it just didn't sound very bluesy. He's probably happy because he found out Honey Nut Cheerios can help lower cholesterol as part of a heart-healthy diet. Oh, hey, Buzz. Okay, well, let's try it again. Smile on my face. Nope, that's uh, still happy. Have a change of heart with Honey Nut Cheerios. Learn more about Honey Nut Cheerios by picking up a box at your local store. Great values are happening now during Lowe's Summer Savings. Save on select appliance special values. Plus, save an additional $50 when you buy two or more appliances, $396 or more. You'll also find new lower prices on ceiling fans, landscape lighting, and more. So shop Lowe's today. In-store must ask cashier to apply discount. Must purchase two or more appliances, each totaling $396 or more. Can't be combined with more discounts. Savings varies based on eligible total purchase. See Lowe's.com for restrictions. Bell at 715 for 84 U.S. only. It's page one of the local news, page one of service of Quick Lane, Tyron Auto Centers in Raleigh and El Centro. Before you head off on that weekend getaway or your summer road trip, head into Quick Lane and tell them, I want the works. All right, I'll do that. You've convinced me. Taking a look at the latest in local news uh, for a Friday morning, COVID-19 active cases down slightly. George Gale has the story. The latest numbers released by the County Public Health Department, numbers have dropped a bit from the previous report. According to the latest numbers, there are currently 174 active cases of COVID-19 in the Imperial County. Seven of those are hospitalized, two in intensive care. Seven-day average positivity rate is at 5.6%. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Tough new vaccination rules have been ordered for federal employees. The new requirements announced uh, Thursday afternoon requires COVID-19 vaccinations for millions of federal employees. Lacking proof of vaccination testing must be done once or twice a week. President uh, Joe Biden also encouraged the private sector to follow the government's Uh, lead and encourage vaccinations of employees. KXO Newstime 742. Quick Lane Tyron Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro suggest the works. The works, including tire rotation and pressure check, brake inspection, fluid top-off, battery test, filter check, belts and hoses check, and synthetic blend oil change with up to six quarts of motorcraft oil plus oil filter. You can't beat the works. Quick Lane services all makes and all models and you never need an appointment. Quick Lane in Raleigh and El Centro, ready to serve. 
Health, health officials uh, continue to push uh, vaccinations. Here's more on that story. The total number of COVID-19 vaccine doses administered in Imperial County is now at 217,480. That's about 1,000 more than what was previously reported. Health officials say vaccination is still the best defense against the virus and the variants. Vaccinations are now available with no appointment necessary. Imperial County has scheduled a series of community vaccine clinics at 2895 South 4th Street in El Centro through the month of August. Clinics are open from 8.30 a.m. to 12 noon, and then again from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. They are being held throughout the uh, next month. During August, the community clinics are scheduled for August 3rd, 5th, 10th, 12th, 17th, 19th, 24th, 26th, and August 31st. Walk-ins are welcome, and again, no appointment is needed. Vaccinations are also available at Clinicas de Salud, private caregivers, and at pharmacies. You can still go to myturn.ca.gov to find out where the vaccines are available as well. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Free admission for youth 17 and younger uh, this evening. It gets underway at the El Centro Aquatic Center at uh, 4 p.m. and continues until 8 p.m. That's free admission for youth 17 and younger. Uh, $5 for all 18 and over. That concludes this edition of Local News, page 2 coming up. Page 1 of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and Del Centro. Quick Lane, ready to serve. Stan's Auto Body has been serving customers in the Imperial Valley for many years now. Their mission is to be recognized as a premier provider of auto body repair services. Stan's Auto Body also works closely with you and your insurance company on your collision repair. They're committed to delivering superior quality and customer service by exceeding your expectations. Stan's Auto Body thanks you for making them number one with CarWise.com. Give them a call or stop by 1880 West Euclid Avenue in El Centro. Page two of the local news, and we'll go in-depth with the weather. That's coming up, brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, auto insurance, home insurance, commercial insurance. It's David H. West Insurance Services. Continuing with more local news, two heroes in Westmoreland, citizens to the rescue is what we'll call it. George Gale explains. Two residents come to the rescue. One was an off-duty Border Patrol agent. The agent, Roy Rosas, and a private citizen Sunday witnessed a man attempting to carjack a vehicle in Westmoreland. Two jumped into action and confronted the 24-year-old suspect as he was attempting to take a vehicle driven by a local church pastor. A scuffle ensued, and the two were able to remove the suspect from the vehicle. They called the Westmoreland police and stayed with the suspect until officers arrived. Suspect had suffered minor injuries in the uh, scuffle. He was uh, taken to a hospital for treatment before being uh, booked into county jail. In uh, commending uh, the uh, heroic act, El Centro Sector Chief Patrol Agent uh, Gregory Bovine said Agent Rosa's actions uh, brought great credit upon himself and the U.S. Border Patrol. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. In other local news, it is the Imperial County 9-11 Memorial Stair Climb, which is coming back uh, this year. It's held uh, at the local fairgrounds. The event was not held last year due to the pandemic. The event honors those who lost their lives in the September 11, 2011 terrorist attack on the Twin Towers in New York. During the event, local community uh, members climbed the equivalent of 110 flights of stairs in the grandstands at the fairgrounds. Those who do not want to climb the stairs can choose to do two laps around the track uh, in front of the grandstands. The walk also equals 1,980 steps of the 110 uh, flights of stairs uh, climbed by rescuers during the 9-11 attack. Donations are taken and go to the programs uh, of the FDNY uh, counseling services included unit uh, and uh, 
to the uh, programs of the National Fallen Firefighters as well Foundation. Similar events are held across the country in September. Well, a 49-year-old is arrested. George Gale has the story. The man drove up to the Border Patrol checkpoint on Highway 86 near Salton City. During a record check, Border Patrol agents found the man had an outstanding felony warrant. A man was identified as Armando Garcia Altamirano. The man was turned over to the Imperial County Sheriff's Office and was booked into county jail. Bail set at $85,000. No other details have been released. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. We'll be back with a look at the weather. It's nice to explore your options when it comes to buying insurance, no matter what you're looking for. David H. West Insurance Services offers it all. And being an independent broker, we have many companies to choose from. We continue providing Medicare, life, and health plans, and now offer auto, home, and commercial insurance. David H. West Insurance Services can find the right insurance to fit your needs and budget. And best of all, a staff who cares about you. So don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call David H. West Insurance Services at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411 for a free insurance review. That's 352-3411. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. According to the National Weather Service, shower and thunderstorm chances will continue through at least Saturday, with the main storm threats being strong winds and locally heavy rainfall. Drier air moving into the region beginning Sunday will quickly diminish rain chances. An extended dry period looks likely for most of next week, which will also allow for warming temperatures and most likely reaching a few degrees above normal by the middle of next week. 113 are high, 87 the overnight low. Today, partly sunny with a high near 103. South, southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming north, northeast in the afternoon. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly between 3 and 5 this afternoon. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 84. Southeast wind about 5 miles an hour. A 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 9 p.m. Saturday, mostly sunny with a high near 105. South, southeast wind about 5 miles an hour, then becoming calm. There is a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Sunday will be sunny with a high near 109. West, northwest wind about 5 miles an hour. We have 90 degrees downtown, 52% relative humidity. Wind out of the east-southeast at 7 to 10 miles an hour. Page two of the local news brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance, life insurance, and Medicare supplemental coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. One to get ready. We're ready. Two to get set. Tables are set. And three to go. Let's go. Burgers and beer is ready for you. We are open and our meals are fresh and made to your order. We are set. Our tables are set. Our condiment trays are fresh, stocked, and chilled. Our doors are open and it's go time. Come in and enjoy all your favorites at Burgers and Beer. The bacon is sizzling, the fries are frying, the burgers are cooking, and all of the beverages are ice cold. It's a good day at Burgers and Beer. It's sports time. Sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Well, Joe Musgrove strike out 11 in seven scoreless innings. The Padres whipped the Rockies 3-0. And uh, in other Major League Baseball action, the A's shut out the Angels 4-0. Nationals topped the Phillies 3-1, a uh, makeup game, game one of a doubleheader. Phillies came back in the nightcap and beat the Nats 11-8. Meanwhile... The Braves dumped the Mets 6-3. Rays ripped the Yankees 14-0. Royals shut out the White Sox 5-zip. Reds over the Cubs 7-4. Giants bageled the Dodgers 5-0. Brewers beat the Pirates 12-0. Tigers trumped the Orioles 6-2. Blue Jays beat up on the Red Sox 13-1. So, Trade deadline coming up this afternoon. 
The Dodgers are working to finalize a deal to acquire star right-handed pitcher Max Scherzer and shortstop Trey Turner from the Washington Nationals. Um, Scherzer, in the final year of a contract, would be a rental player if the deal happens. Meanwhile, the uh, American League East leading Boston Red Sox acquired all-star outfielder Kyle Schwarber from the Washington Nationals. Schwarber is on the injured list right now with a bad hamstring, but expected to be back within a week. And the Yankees have acquired all-star first baseman Anthony Rizzo, Rizzo from the uh, Cubs. Right-handed pitcher Alexander Vizcaino and outfielder Kevin Alcantara, both minor leaguers, are heading to the Windy City. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in health care and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley and, of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all the Pioneer services, visit pmhd.org today. Well, all of the news is not uh, just baseball. The Lakers have agreed to a deal with the Washington Wizards to acquire Russell Westbrook in exchange for Kyle Kuzma, Montrezl Harrell, Kentavious Caldwell-Pope, and a number 22 pick in uh, tonight's draft. <laughs> okay, uh, the, the Wizards are sending... 2024 and 2028 second round picks to the Lakers to complete the deal. And Oklahoma City added to its stockpile of future first round picks as the Jazz agreed to send a future number one and center Derek Favors to the Thunder for a future second round pick, according to ESPN. And don't forget, we've got uh, summer games updates from Tokyo throughout the day on AM 1230 KXO. That's it for Sports Time, brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, working together to provide you the best care. Since 1901, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has provided the finest printing and copying services from start to finish. When you choose Imperial Printers Rocket Copy, you can feel confident in our expertise and personal attention to your project. We have a team of professional graphic designers ready to take your ideas and make them a reality. From promotional merchandise, full color brochures, blueprints, and high speed copies to business forms and everything else in between imperial printers rocket copy offers dependable and affordable quality printing thank you for choosing locally owned and operated imperial printers rocket copy we have convenient locations near you at 430 west main street and 100 south 11th street in el centro and 184 south plaza in brawley financial news had a brief look at the weather Brought to you this morning by Southwest Security, a locally owned security company protecting you and your property. By the way, they also offer live scan fingerprinting to the public. All eyes are on Wall Street as the COVID-19 Delta variant continues to spread and corporate America starts rolling out vaccination policies. Goldman Sachs employees are currently required to report their vaccine status to the company, a policy that was instituted in June. Failure to do so comes with specific consequences. And uh, President Biden issued uh, orders yesterday. Federal employees uh, either be vaccinated, show proof of vaccination, or undergo at least weekly testing for uh, the virus. Meanwhile, Wall Street didn't exactly roll out the red carpet to welcome Robin Hood after its highly anticipated debut. The fast-growing trading company finished Thursday at $34.82, down 8% from its initial public offering price. Robin Hood failed to score the first day pop that new companies covet. 
So what's happening on Wall Street? Uh, the Dow Jones Industrials right now off 93 points at 34.991. The S&P 500 off 20 at 43.99. The NASDAQ is at 14,686. That's off 92 points. Gold down $4.70 an ounce. Oil off 9 cents a barrel. Southwest Security Company is a locally owned security company protecting your property or your business and now offering live scan fingerprinting to the the public. Plus, they added Southwest Postal with post office boxes you can access 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, with shipping services too, using DHL, UPS, and FedEx. They're conveniently located at the corner of Hyle and 4th Street in El Centro. And if you need something notarized, they can do that too. You can count on Southwest Security and Southwest Postal for 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Partly sunny today with a high near 103, south-southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming north-northeast. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly between 3 and 5 p.m. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 84, southeast wind about 5 miles an hour. A 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 9 p.m. And tomorrow... Mostly sunny with a high near 105, south-southeast wind about 5 miles an hour, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. 91 degrees, 49% relative humidity, wind out of the southeast, 7 to 10 miles an hour. Financial news brought to you by Southwest Security Services, offering 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal, 4th and Heil, in El Centro. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialist. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 56 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789 or 344-2533 on the north end. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. The best oldies on the radio, KXO, El Central, the Imperial Valley's local news source. This is CBS News on the Hour, your home for original reporting. I'm Steve Kathan. New findings on the Delta variant could deepen concerns about what it means for the pandemic's next few months. CBS's Dr. David Agus says the CDC analysis indicates the variant is aggressive. In this report, they call the Delta variant as infectious as chickenpox. What we're seeing is, is that it's more infectious than most of the viruses that we've seen, including the 1918 influenza. The report says those who get infected with Delta are more likely to get a severe case, and fully vaccinated people can spread it as easily as those who haven't gotten shots. Now to Chicago, CBS's Charlie DeMar is covering the music fest Lollapalooza, where health precautions are being taken. Vaccination card in your head. Festival attendees must show proof of vaccination or negative COVID test within the last three days. If they didn't have those restrictions in there, I'd be a lot less likely to go. It makes me feel safer. The festival draws around 100,000 people each day, tightly packed crowds with few masks in sight. Some tense moments at the Olympics for the U.S. women's soccer team against the Dutch. This was a knockout match if the U.S. had lost the the U.S. soccer team would be going home right now, but the U.S. survives. The U.S. wins on penalty kicks. It was 2-2 two to two after regulation. It remained that way after extra time, and then they went to penalty kicks, and the winning kick was from Megan Rapino. The U.S. women began to celebrate, and they now move on to the semifinal match. The U.S. women still have hope for a gold medal. Steve Futterman, CBS News, at the Summer Olympics in Tokyo. Early arrival today in the U.S. for more than two 200 people from Afghanistan, translators and others who helped American troops during the war and their families. U.S. Ambassador Ross Wilson says there will be more in the weeks ahead. This White House initiative aims to ensure the safe relocation of Afghans who have worked for the United States over the course of the past two decades. The checking on storm damage this morning in Bucks County, Pennsylvania after rare tornadoes. Mitch Berlinski lives along the Delaware River in Washington Crossing, Pennsylvania. We saw like a funnel cloud starting over the river then it went across the river and headed to Ewing. Not far up the river, Jesse Samaji says he weathered the storm in his basement, came out and found a tree had fallen on a passing motorist but she escaped unharmed. That was super lucky. If she was a little farther 
it would have been a lot worse. Jim Melwort for CBS News, New Hope, Pennsylvania. Checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is down 126 points. The NASDAQ is down 114. This is CBS News. CBS News Radio is your home for breaking news. With our team of reporters around the country and the world, we give you the coverage you can trust. It's back to school season at JCPenney. Score first class deals before they're gone. Shop store wide doorbusters while they last all weekend long. Save on Arizona uniform essentials for juniors and young men like select $9.99 polos and $19.99 pants. And get dorm must haves like Linden Street Performance Bath Towels, $6.99 each. Plus, use your coupon to save an extra 25% at checkout. Weekdays are back in style. JCPenney. Offers and coupon valid through 8 4. Exclusions apply. See store or jcp.com for details. Benito's line cook just threw in his kitchen towel. This order needs to go out right now. He needs to find help before his customers are left waiting. I'm so sorry. We'll be right with you. Who's got table six? Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. With Indeed Instant Match, we immediately show you quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed meet your sponsored job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. With a lawsuit now in play, a sequel to a new blockbuster movie could be titled Scarlett Johansson Goes to Court. The star of the new superhero hit Black Widow says Marvel Studios guaranteed an exclusive release in movie theaters. But the film was simultaneously released for streaming on Disney+, Plus, where subscribers can watch it for a $30 surcharge. The suit alleges that since Johansson's salary is based in part on box office performance, the actress stands to lose tens of millions of dollars. Disney calls the lawsuit callous. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Officials at a zoo in Jacksonville, Florida, say a man was injured by a jaguar after climbing over a waist-high barrier and getting too close to the animal's enclosure. The man went to the hospital. His injuries are said to be non-life-threatening. I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News. You've got Carol Buckley with the best oldies on the radio. I don't like it. I love it. I love it.